Hello fellow Vault Dwellers, Kato Genesis here, and do I hear drinks for everyone? The new content update for Fallout 76 has arrived, and the first part of the Wild Appalachia update is the brewing and distilling, where you make your own booze. But there's a little more to it than that. Yes, you can make the normal stuff, beer, whiskey, vodka, etc. But you can also brew specialized drinks that make this feel a lot more like alchemy than brewing. In order to unlock the brewing station and fermenter at your camp, you'll first need to find yourself a party poster. These are currently available in the Atom Shop for free up until April 9th. So you can place this poster at your own camp or a public workshop, and then activate it or find one at a train station. Doing so will give you a miscellaneous objective, leading you into the quest called Wasted on Nukashine. I don't see a need for a walkthrough on this quest because it is really straightforward and pretty entertaining. So I'll leave that for you to discover. Afterwards, in the brewing station, you'll be able to make several basic alcoholic beverages, as well as Nuka Shine. The crafting ingredients are pretty straightforward for the alcohol, requiring mostly boiled water, razor grain, corn, and wood, along with a few other choice ingredients depending on what you're making. Stopping by one of the many farms in Appalachia, or making your own, with various produce will ultimately help you out. When you make alcohol from the brewing station, you make a fermentable version of that alcohol. And to get its full effects, you actually need to put it in the fermenter to ferment, which takes a little bit of time. When you activate the fermenter, it has access to your stash as well. And bear in mind that you are the only one that will see this. Nobody can really steal your alcohol that's brewing. From here, you can assign which alcohol you want to ferment, up to a total of 10 at a time. And then you wait. <laughs> With the new recipes like Nuka Shine, you can make a vintage version by allowing it to ferment for longer, boosting the effects it gives you dramatically. Nuka Shine can go from buffing your AP regeneration to doubling your unarmed damage on top of that, for example. In order to get new special drink recipes, you'll need to complete Wasted on Nuka Shine and then wait until the dailies start cycling, so likely the next day after you finish the quest. You will have the Nuka Shine recipe right off the bat though. Perhaps the most entertaining part, besides a little portion of the quest, is that when you drink Nuka Shine and most likely other specialized drinks, you have a chance to black out and wake up somewhere else in Appalachia. I'm not sure how well this is going to pan out when you're trying to buff yourself in the middle of a big fight and then suddenly disappear, but either way, it's pretty entertaining. Speaking of, I'd love to hear in the comments where your character has blacked out and woken up. And also, which recipes have you discovered? Leave a comment, I'd love to know. If you're looking for more Fallout 76 guides, I've created quite a few on collectibles and outfits too, so please give those a look if you're interested. If you found this video useful, entertaining, or both, please do whatever it is you see fit to show that, and please consider supporting the channel on Patreon. On that note, a special thank you to Sven, our first Wasteland legend. As for the rest of you, thank you so very much for watching. This is Kato Genesis, wishing you a happy Reclamation Day.